all attendees to hear you. This system will notify you once you begin your broadcast. The broadcast is now starting. All attendees are in listen-only mode. Hello everyone and welcome to today's brand new training. I am super excited to get in and get, um, yeah, dig into the training today because there's a lot to get through. So I'm going to turn on my screen and I'm hoping that you can see uh, my screen and I've got um, a presentation today that's absolutely chock full of goodies. So um, I can't wait to dive in and share that with you. Uh, let me just make sure that you are able to see my screen presentation on my screen just let me know in the chat box below just put a Y in the chat box to make sure you can hear you can see um, great thanks guys thanks Adele thanks Gavin thanks Rachel thanks Fiona awesome nice to see you here nice to see you Adele hi Em how you doing hi Leonard great to see you Oh, I'm liking seeing some mix of familiar faces, new faces, old faces. Hi, Natalie. How you doing? Uh, cool. Good to see you here. Um, I'm just going to turn that on as well, making sure that we've got everything working, everyone can see, and everything is good to go. Um, yeah, as I said, welcome to today because we're going to dive into how to stop losing money on Facebook ads and start getting leads and sales like clockwork. Seems like a bit of a big promise out there, um, particularly when Facebook can be the source of many a frustration for a business owner, um, coach, speaker, consultant. Uh, many people over the years I've spoken to about Facebook ads and it seems to get progressively worse. But what I want to share with you today is some hope and the hope that um, you too can make them work for you. They still are an amazing source of opportunity. They're still really, really cost effective compared to traditional methods of media and um, advertising out there that you could be using. So why not tap into it? And look, common reason I get as to why not is that they didn't work for me. I wasted my money. It's too confusing. Don't know where to start. I tried it. A lot of I tried it all before and it doesn't work. Um, pop a Y in the chat box if you're um, feeling like that or even um, just pop a Y if you have used Facebook ads just to give me an idea of um, what level of experience you're at and I'll make sure that we cover that off in uh, the training as well. So just don't be afraid to jump in. Um, you can let me know. Great. Why? Yep. Good to see. And Instagram is a cheaper way to advertise, um, Leonard says. Actually, um, Instagram ads are generally more expensive than Facebook ads. So um, that's interesting. We can cover that too today. Obviously, you can advertise on Instagram through Facebook. So the, um, the charges can be similar. It really depends on your market. And like anything, if you get the fundamentals right, it's not going to be expensive because it's going to be bringing you in beautiful, high quality leads um, as and when you need them. So uh, in my book, that's never a waste of money. Um, when Facebook ads become a waste of money, it's when people are not um, doing it as well as they could. OK, and that's just experience. So some people get their fingers burnt, don't want to do it again or can't seem to get that next level of conversion happening for them. So Facebook ads can seem really expensive if you're not getting the sales coming in from them. But I do want to give you some ideas to change that and really wanting to, um, you know, dive in and dive into your questions and even happy at the end to take a peek at any of your campaigns, give you some ideas. Um, I like to think that most of the time I can sort of see what's going on with the campaign um, straight away and let you know what's happening. And um, Adele, I know you use them and you've been using them for some time. So good to see that you're still uh, still going strong with your Facebook ads. Um, you're, you're brilliant at them, actually. So that's good. 
And nice to see you here. I haven't chatted to you for ages. Um, and yeah, great. Awesome that you can all see it. So, all right, we've got a lot to get through. So settle in, get ready. However you want to listen, enjoy, take notes, ask questions, whatever you want to do. I'm not going to prescribe that for you today. What I hope is that you know, you'll stay on, um, you'll stay to the end and, and get as much of the goodness out of this presentation as you possibly can, because that's what I'm here for, right? And, um, and I know that that's what you're here for too. So, okay. So today, as I said, webinar, how to stop losing money on Facebook ads and get leads and sales like clockwork. Today, I'm revealing the missing piece to creating ads that both your prospects and Facebook loves so that you can turn clicks into clients, customers, and cash like clockwork. Why do I say that? Because Facebook ads can actually give you um, clients as and when you need, right? And it's right there at your fingertips. It's something that's on 24 seven worldwide. You don't have to wait till you just, you know, pop it on for one day and then turn it on. It can, you can go and access, you know, over 3 billion beautiful people on Facebook whenever you like. And that is absolutely a business owner's and a marketer's dream. And um, as you can tell, I'm excited about it and I want you to get excited about it too because I'm going to show you how all the pieces of the puzzle fit together so you can take advantage of working what's, of what's working right now on Facebook to get high quality leads for less. Now, because it's, it's kind of simple to get, you know, some email opt-ins or some um, web views or, you know, some likes to a page. That's all pretty elementary. But if we don't have the structure or um, the step-by-step -step around it to move people through to actually invest with you, then that's where your Facebook ad strategy is probably falling down. Or I would say don't even jump into Facebook ads until you have that mapped out. Because I hear the same questions from coaches and consultants just like you. <clears throat> and that is, do Facebook ads still work? Even that one before, Leonard, I hear they're really expensive. It's a common perception. They're confusing, they're um, expensive, and they're complicated, okay? And um, I don't know why my slides just decided to go black. So let's hope that does not keep happening here. Um, yeah, I hear they're expensive. Um, people saying, do they still work? Um, let me just, sorry, a moment here. Yeah, just had a nice, uh, there we go. Let's hope that works. There we go. Um, always love a tech glitch on a webinar. So how much do I need to spend to get clients? How much do I actually need to spend, right? And that's um, a bit of how long is a piece of string. But I'm over Facebook. It changes so much. I can't keep up. Or a, very commonly, they've tried it once and, and walk away because it didn't work once, right? Um, I definitely discourage you from that kind of thinking. Um, can Facebook work in my market? I don't know if my clients are on Facebook, right? Or maybe they are, and I do not know why this uh, screen keeps messing up. One moment. Oh, I've got to love a webinar. It's always so much fun when it doesn't play along. Or maybe um, you're running campaigns and you're also saying, why are they so expensive? Why, why are Facebook so frustrating? Why am I getting my ads disapproved? Why are they costing so much? Well, the real problem is referrals and repeat, repeat clients can only move your business so far. Um, and wanting to build your audience organically is just leaving money on the table and not diving in and taking advantage of new features when they come in um, to Facebook and being able to optimize what you've already got is also leaving money on the table. The fact is email marketing can be slow. Um, most email lists are pretty small, right? Unless you've pop, pop, um, you've been around for a long time or you put a lot of money in, email lists can take a long time to grow. And if you don't, and if you do have a decent size or audience, then open rates and deliverability are, are falling, right? There's, there's spam filters that are, are going higher and higher and it's really hard to get your emails out there. Deliverability um, for each email is, is just getting harder and harder, right? People's email box, email inboxes are cluttered. We need more ways, more what I'd like to say is touch points that we can get to our um, ideal audience to encourage them to buy or to, um, you know, establish our credibility and authority more and that important relationship. So I'm not saying, you know, that organic traffic and referrals and networking and everything is bad. What I'm saying is that we want to have a reliable engine that you can actually control um, the outcomes. And that is what Facebook ads is. 
So the fact is not a lot of people are seeing your social media. It's more pay to play now. So you need to pay to play to get um, those organic results um, from social media and particularly Facebook. So without paying, um, there's a lot of people who've got um, big Facebook pages with, uh, you know, with hundreds of thousands of people on them and, you know, one algorithm shift on Facebook and that they've, their posts, um, post views are wiped out or, you know, um, Facebook just went and deleted a whole lot of them recently as well. So the pla- the environment is very much focused around ads, okay? Um, you can't just rely on social media and you can't just rely on um, on uh, on organic and um, email marketing. So um, please know that. Okay, I should have just turned my phone off there. Um Right, so sorry, I'm just getting interrupted by the fact that um, that my um, my screen keeps cu- cutting out there. I was videoing that too. Okay, um, the other thing is networking takes a ton of time. So the old fashioned go to B and I, go to those networking events. Yeah, it's great. Press pressure, press the flesh is what I was trying to say. Press the flesh, get out there. That can bring you leads, but it takes a lot of time. And if you're introverted, you're probably going to find that super, super tiring as well. And that's why it's never been more important to have a scalable client getting model that doesn't rely on hustle. Sure, you got to get in there and you got to get systems happening and things moving, but you don't need to be out there at networking events all the time, posting on social media six times a day, all that kind of stuff there is a better way okay you want to let go of late nights spent staring at the computer and missing out on dinner with your family right but when you because when you set it up right instead of lining up networking events or spending all day on social media you'll actually have an inbox full of people who are chomping at the bit to work with you and your paypal will be pinging or your um your booking calendar will be booking out or you know whatever whatever it is for you whatever you're putting out there and selling then um you're bound to find it start moving a whole lot um, better and if i could get this presentation working that would be fantastic so let me just see what is going on here and why i'm going to stick to these and stop clicking it no it's really decided to do that okay so bear with me sorry oh golly gosh i love a technical glitch it's so much fun here we are bear with me thanks for your patience hopefully i can keep that moving without it going black okay no it really just every time i get to the one that i want to do it goes black i don't know if that's happening your end i'm assuming that it is um and you've got to love it. Um, okay, let's just make sure that I'm at the right slide here. Okay, what, even if I'm not, right? Because how do I know this? Well, I use Facebook ads to build my business and establish myself as an expert, so I know it's really possible. I wouldn't have a business today if it wasn't for Facebook ads, right? And I sometimes get worried. <laughs> I don't think Facebook's going anywhere. But sometimes I think, I really need a contingency on this because, you know, I've tried other sources of traffic and they're great. Like, you know, there's the Pinterest and there's the YouTube. They're great complementary strategies. Don't get me wrong. Google ads, all of those. I wouldn't say, you know, don't ever use them. But what I love about Facebook is that you can just use Facebook and get clients. So, hey, why not? Who's got time to be tinkering around in in tons and tons of um, different traffic sources? Well, not me. So I assume not you either. Um, It doesn't mean, as I said, it doesn't mean don't do it. It's just, it's just, you know, there's, you can just do it with Facebook. So when, um, I'm just getting to the right uh, uh, slide here. So please just bear with me because all you need really is just one clear Facebook ad strategy and it can get you there. And today I am going to step you through it when we get there with the slides, right? Even someone like Selena, a former client of mine, um, was getting, you know, got 200 email opt-ins, um, spending just $5 a day and was able to sell a $15,000 coaching program direct from those leads. Like that's the potential here. That's what we're talking about. Someone like Claire spent $350 on Facebook ads and made $10,000 in program sales. Like that is still happening. Okay. So I want you to be aware of that, that those are the options. Um, those are the opportunities. And if my slideshow would work, it would just be so good. 
Anyway, um, or Jane, who filled her workshops for the past two years and now has a high-level mastermind program that she's filled from those clients that she's popped up, um, filled from that list that she built using Facebook ads, right? So I want you to also be thinking, well, do I want to be, um, you know, a, a lot of people will approach Facebook ads and be thinking, all right, great, I'll, I'll run an ad and then I'll get some clients and then they'll buy straight away, right? There's also an opportunity to, opportunity to be running highly effective campaigns that build your list that nurture and I'm going to go into some of that today as well so don't don't fear but I want you to get out of that short term you know you put this money in and get that money out yes you probably will do, that will happen for you results wise but um, you've got to have a longer term view and that's where a lot of people get burnt right a lot of people are thinking oh it's like oh it, it, it hasn't worked for me um, you know straight away or it, it didn't you know it didn't give me any turnaround or whatever straight away. And that's where you go wrong, right? A client of mine, Alana, was able to create tens of thousands of dollars in reliable recurring revenue. She actually went from $4,000 when we first started working together to around thirty thousand dollars a month reliably, right? And you know that was that was that was over eighteen months. So there was times in between um, as we built up from there. But you know that just using Facebook ads with what she already had with her online courses. And there's a picture of her there when winning the Entreport Modern Entrepreneur of the Year award at Entrepreneur last year. Um, she won five thousand dollars and the glory of that name. Um, and really, Facebook ads were the driving force behind that for sure. Because the truth is you're one Facebook ad with the right message away from a fortune. You really, really are. And I've got tons of proof to prove that to you um, <coughs> because, as I said, I use Facebook ads to, to build my business myself. So I know it's possible and I really want this <laughs> this slide to work and it's not going to. Oh, okay. Oh, how much joy can we have here? Okay, if I can find that slide, I will be all good. Okay, um, and in fact, my first Facebook ad generated $23,000 in 10 days. This is how long I've been doing this. This was in 2011, okay? So when um, I started doing affiliate Facebook ads to learn how to do it. So I paid $5,000 um, to learn how to run Facebook ads back in 2011, got taught wonderfully and then went, okay, well, what am I going to do? What am I going to, how am I going to run ads? Well, I'm going to start running them for affiliate contest. And then I was number four in affiliate contest and, um, generated $23,000 in 10 days, spending $500 I might add. So for those of you who don't know what an affiliate contest is or affiliate marketing is, you sell somebody else's program for a commission. So I didn't have my own program then. I was just doing um, coaching. Um, and so I sold uh, Marie Folio's program and um, sold 23 of those um, for $1,000 commission each, um, which was brilliant. So I spent $500, used Facebook ads, and that was really, that got me started seven and a half years ago doing Facebook ads. Since then, I've spent over $260,000 on ads in my own account and over $2 million in my client's account since 2011. And in fact, I really haven't spent a lot in my own account. I was thinking that when I added that total up the other day, you know, I hear people spending $30,000 a month in my um, in my niche. And I really haven't had to lay out those monies because what that money, um, you know, and that sort of level of investment every month to still get a great return because of the business model I have as well. Um, but uh, what was I going to say about that? Yeah, be careful because I've watched a lot of Facebook ads trainings. And one of the things I see a lot is people are like, yeah, and then you just, you know, put $30,000 a month in and you get like 90000 or 60000 in revenue. So basically you get one and get two out, which you know, it's pretty sort of standard now. It used to be more like one in five. I can definitely get different results depending on um, on the market, that's for sure. But it's like not everyone is wanting to roll the dice on putting $30,000 a month in their Facebook ads, right? Like you might need a lot of conversion testing. You might need to really get back to basics with your message. You might need your copy reworked. <clears throat> if you don't have a proven funnel, there is no way known you should be spending anywhere near that kind of money. And as I said, I've been doing it for seven years. I've only spent 260000 Um, I should have actually then put, you know, and made, you know, $1.2 off of the, off of that um, investment, right? Like that's how kind of, um, I think it's even more than that. I, I'm just pulling that figure out of nowhere. But um, it's definitely, it's definitely over one, but I, I don't know the exact figure. But 
Um, I've I've also helped guide my clients to spend over two million dollars and and get a measurable returns in, um, there as well. So, and just last month I was able to generate thirty three thousand dollars in sales for just three thousand one hundred and seventy nine dollars spent on Facebook ads. So it's definitely more than spending three thousand one hundred seventy nine and getting another three thousand one hundred seventy nine. It's actually getting ten times the return, right? So, and I'm going to show you the ads that I used to do that, um, and that's just in one month. Okay. Granted, if you're doing that from scratch, maybe a bit tricky, but you know, I'm going to open it up and show you exactly how I did that. Um, and this is why I'm still a fan of Facebook ads. Amongst all the poo pooing out there, it is still the most effective, um, economical, and um, brilliant way to get high value clients out there that I know of. Okay. Um, and the other thing is that a lot of people teaching fancy Facebook, oh, Facebook ads training, they've got little fancy tweaks and this, that, and the other. And you have to drill down, and then there's this, you know, special thing that works and then suddenly it doesn't work for you. I want to keep it simple. I don't have fancy ninja tricks to share with you today. Just got a couple of um, clear kind of strategies and ideas that you can apply uh, to get things moving. Um, and if we get through the, sc the screen, I'll be absolutely amazed because really most people fail at Facebook because of these common mistakes. They use the same old strategies. Either they're using old strategies that um, have worked several years ago but don't anymore, and that can be a um, result of, um, you know, people – uh, teaching stuff that used to work and that's all they know and they're not in there testing and trying new things or find, keeping their finger on the pulse and seeing what changes because Facebook are updating things all the time. Now, the reason they do that is that they treat ads, their ad platform very, very seriously. It is their income for their business and obviously they have a pretty big business and Mark Zuckerberg has made a lot of money from Facebook. They don't want that to go away. They're aware of issues and that people don't um, you know, get overwhelmed or confused by it or that there's a lot of ad disapprovals, account shutdowns um, that are unfair and against policy. They're aware of that. It doesn't mean they're necessarily going to, uh, you know, turn, click your fingers and turn that around. But if you stick with policy and you work in with, you know, the tweaks and the changes and the things that we know that they like, then you're going to succeed much, much more, okay? So just rolling out like an ad, hey, here's my free guide, um, click here to opt in, eh, it's probably not going to work so well because, and that's not Facebook's fault. That's your message's fault, right? That's your audience's fault because they're fatigued from those messages. We want to use the beautiful um, connection of Facebook to bring to life your message so that your ideal prospects just cannot help but, uh, but click on it and take action, okay? So... Um, also putting all your spend into harvesting cold traffic. And by cold traffic, I mean people who have never known, seen or heard from you before and you're asking them to enter an email or you're asking them to do something, right? Doing that will be a way to burn through your budget really quickly with very little results to show for it, particularly if you're just starting out. That's it. That can be a bit different if you're already a well-known name, right? Or you've just got a... a, a quite frankly, shitty message, right? Your message just hasn't been reworked or your copy is really bad. Um, and you might not know that either, by the way. This is the good thing about even coming on a webinar today. You can ask me about, you know, what your message and who you're targeting. Most most common problems are message um, and targeting for sure. Um, once we get those ironed out and use the right strategy, we're good to go. Okay, so have something good to say. Does zero good to pay for ads if you don't have something good to say? It's expensive, it's frustrating, and it's just a waste of money, right? Um, a lot of people only test a couple of ads and then give up. Or they do a campaign and just go, oh my God, I spent like $2,000, I've got nothing to show for it. They demoralize, they're over it. But there is a way to make sure that you can learn from those or don't, you know, I said to even um, someone who came to me just to optimize their campaigns the other day, um, I said, why are you running, why, why have you been running this campaign when you've been getting leads at $9 or whatever? And she's like, oh, I just thought, you know, maybe it was going to start getting better. No, you'll know within spending $10, $20 whether an ad is going to work. So, yeah, like you might burn $10 or $20, but you don't need to burn thousands, right? That's that's completely um, crazy. Um, but unfortunately, people don't know differently and they just um, assume things are going to turn around. You'll know from the beginning whether they're going to work or whether they're not. Okay. So, um, you know, keep that, in, keep that in mind for sure. Um, 
I would love to do, 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 get to the right slides and it stopped throwing me off super annoying. Um, okay, the Facebook. And so basically I want to share with you because we've got so much to, to jump into today, the Facebook ad strategy that you can start using right now. And this really is a um, combination of using some of the features of Facebook. So rather than the traditional kind of approach of popping an ad up there and um, asking for um, an opt-in to a download and then, you know, going to sell them something. Not that that doesn't work. Um, you also you might also want to start thinking, well, how can I start building up some warm audiences of people from cold? So we want them to obviously go from cold to warm. We want to take advantage of Facebook rewarding us for getting out there using, um, you know, video and um, a, lo a lot more of the organic methods of connecting with your audience because Facebook really loves that so we want to use that because we don't have to pay pay for that or we can get our paid efforts amplified okay so <clears throat> what does that mean it means I want you to go live on Facebook more I want you to use the power of video more as well um, now you might not relish the sound of this one right but particularly if you're building a personal brand this is really really important content is what separates your brand from everybody else right so you showing up you sharing great value you establishing your credibility and authority and you connecting with your ideal audience is going to be the difference between you and your competition right because most people will not do this so you've got a great opportunity okay so um, Facebook pages, if you're not paying or um, paying for ads or boosting your posts, generally can kind of just sit there not doing very much. So you'll find when you do post, not much happens and it's just like uh, whatever, reaches a few people, right? But once you start um, activating your Facebook Live on your business page, so not on your personal page, on your business page, um, Facebook are like, great, we've got content here. People are interacting with it because people love watching a video and they love watching Facebook Lives. The other beautiful thing about Facebook Lives is that Facebook will push that out for you for free. So they'll send notifications, pop-ups on desktops and um, phones and um, show, saying, hey, you've gone live. So they're going to help help you fish for viewers and get people seeing your beautiful um your beautiful content, right? Um, uh, so, you know, we want, why would we do that? Because the beautiful thing is once we do that and we get more viewers, we can start collecting those viewers to start talking to over time with our paid advertising. Why? Well, that makes us um, increase our level of exposure and audience at a lower cost and also um, allows us to get um, run our paid traffic to warmer leads. So we, we have to maybe wait less to get it out there. So how do you do that? Well, you jump on live on your business page. Um, there's a little where you're going to post as per usual on your Facebook business page, there's a go live. You just click on that and you start talking to the camera. Now, ideally, you want to just do that for a couple of minutes, a minute, a couple of minutes, give like one clear takeaway, um, just share um, some advice that's in line with your um, products, programs, services, what you stand for, what makes you different. Um, think value first. So what can you what can you um, give as a takeaway so people are like, oh, cool, that's something new, that's something different. They're engaging with you. Or you can come out with a bit of a polarising opinion, like a bit of a counter argument to a common way of thinking or something that addresses a, a frequently asked question that you, have, that you get from your clients or overcomes an objection, right? So it can be any of those things. What I want to say is, yeah, keep it short and sweet. Don't need to put a call to action in there if you don't want to. Just wanted to show you one there. Like not tons of people. I'm live, on my live, I have five people on there, right? Like the, I'm not here to say, oh, my God, I've got hundreds and thousands of people. But what we see is that um, once, you know, I only had five on their live, but once it starts running because it's it's popped on your, on your wall, um, three-second views, 826 of those, right? Average video watch time that you see there's so I'm saying keep it short. It's only like 43 um, seconds. It's not very long, right? So probably need to work on that. Be good to have that a bit longer. But if you think about an average television commercial, right, back in the day, bit of TV, right, 30 seconds is the average length of time for a television commercial. And if you looked at your, uh, your television commercial rates, I can assure you they're going to be a lot more. I don't know why I keep um, having that phone on. I need to turn that off. Um, uh, okay, don't worry about that. 
let's just leave that alone. Right. So, um, yeah, so a television commercial would cost you, you know, $20,000 but back in the day. Maybe I don't know if it's still that, but one 30-second spot. So you'll see here that I've just been able to, with live, get 826 views. That's just people seeing me, seeing what I've had to say. Now, no, they're not going and buying something straight away. I didn't make any money out of that up front. But guess what I can do? I can then, once I have those 826 three-second views, I can actually um, go back and um, here's, some, here's another video that I did, or, or live that I did, um, 508 people, 60 clicks, right? These kind of things happen. And then what I can do is then go into Facebook and um, say to Facebook, just here, if my slides would ever work, would be a lovely thing. Um, I can go in the back end of Facebook and start collecting the viewers of those videos. So now some of these vary. Not that many people, right? Like, so I'm showing, I'm not here to say, oh yeah, like there's thousands and thousands and show you something that you can't obtain. I only have, um, because I started another Facebook page years ago, I, I don't know, about nine and a half thousand people on there. I haven't used that page for about five years. Um, and then I only have, I think, a couple of thousand people on this on this Facebook page. Not that many, really, right? And as you can see, even just running organic ones up the top, still getting, you know, 240 people looking at those. I guarantee if I put another post there, I don't get that many eyeballs on it at all. In fact, some of the ones before I started doing lives, I was lucky to get like 20 people looking at them um, when I go into my analytics. And that's just Facebook saying, well, you're not paying, so and you're not saying anything that interesting, so... We don't care, right? But once you start doing lives, you start to get that momentum. Do be aware of um, the time, you know, the headers you use, the time you post. You can see there, there's quite a bit of a difference with that 65 um, versus 212. Um, and that is uh, mainly because of the time I posted um, as well. So um, some of these you'll see that I actually um, used uh, ads for. So like the one that's 1170, I was able to then take that live and advertise it, get it out there and improve the engagement. The other ones are just regular lives. So really not even paying, I'm getting a lot more views. But the best part is I can go into Facebook, go into audiences and um, select a custom audience, go into engagement and under engagement, then I can choose Facebook page and then I can go into videos and then I can choose any one of these videos or all of them. I've got like several pages of them um, to use as my audience for my ads. So that's when I might then use this audience to say, hey, I've got a webinar coming up, register here, or here's the download for my free guide. So we're not throwing away that concept of giving away some value and asking people to register for it. Um, it's just we're adding another step around it to activate the page, ensure our leads are um, going to see our message and think it's relevant too because we know that they've watched a video on, on a topic that's similar. So you've got to create some consistency here, right? You've got to be thinking about the message. How can you get that out on a live? And then how can you follow that up with some value that people are probably going to be more likely um, to, um, you know, uh, uh, more likely to click on. Um, and I love your comments <laughs> that you said, how does this work for an old bloke with lots of wrinkles? It, it does not matter what you look like. This is the beautiful thing with Facebook Live. And Facebook Live will get out there on your page um, and start sharing it to people who like your page. So it's in your interest to run ads to get more people liking your page as well um, and get more audience happening there. And it does not matter what you look like. Facebook doesn't care what you look like and your audience don't either. It's about your content. It's about how engaging and entertaining you can be. You don't have to be, um, you know, someone... Uh, fabulous looking to make this work and in fact the more um, normal or ordinary it, you seem it can be more approachable and engaging and um, and can work extremely well so don't be put off by needing like today um, you know I pop a little bit of lipstick and a bit of blush on I don't have any makeup on I don't like it's like it doesn't matter the less the less um, kind of done up you are the better um, because it's less intimidating it's more approachable it's more engaging so just 
get over that stuff, like just get doing it and doing it consistently and doing it um, doing it well consistently because you'll get better the more that you do. Consistency is absolutely the key here, okay? The other thing is, okay, so when we're following up, so we've got some of those audiences. So first step there was to start running um, more posts and running some more lives to build up some audiences that you can get to, particularly if you have, have a small email list, but it's also going to boost your Facebook page and that engagement and how you show up in people's feeds, which is everything for the relationship, right? Then you're going to have an invitation to those people. They've already been warmed up a bit, they've seen a bit of your content, or they've definitely at least seen your face in their feed, which don't underestimate the power of that, okay? So long form posts with interesting ideas, facts and figures, a counter, added, um, <clears throat> a counter, what, what do you call that? Like a, like a counter statement or a polarizing opinion. <clears throat> if that fit, excuse me, <clears throat> if that fits in with your brand, okay? So make sure this all works with who you are as a brand and, and the message that you want to get out there as well. Um, don't start, you know, creating these polarizing opinions and the likes that um, for things that aren't uh, aren't in line with your brand or who you are or what you can deliver, okay? It's all got to kind of line up with your overall offer. So in this instance, I was talking about um, the power of creating masterminds uh, for coaches and how they can overcome the poor performance of or the poor online course sales um, that many coaches had created online courses. They're not selling. They thought that was the ticket to their passive income and recurring income. And I'm here to tell them that no, a mastermind is instead. So <clears throat> I can show some facts and figures. Facts and figure posts work really well. Um, <clears throat> so you might, excuse me, I don't know why I've got a frog in my throat. One moment. Mm. Um, yeah, so you might write, if, if you haven't got results like these, so I've been able to say, okay, some of my clients have transformed a $97 online course into a $4,000 coaching program, 297 course into a $2,000 program, a few simple, simple shifts, you could be two, etc. right? So um, I was able to put those there. If you haven't got any of those um, client figures to sort of start with, what you can be doing is talking about um, industry trends, right? So it might be, um, you know, if, uh, so for me, even with this online course thing, I was able to talk about online course sales declining. Um, and I pulled some stats from some research paper. Um, you know, XYZ research says um, online sales are already on the decline. So why do you keep trying to peddle something that's not working? Are people wanting more support, more this, you know, so we're talking about some things and not being afraid to kind of shake it up a little bit. And that can be really good if you don't have the results up front. So I can share results because I've been working for a while and I've got um, a lot of client testimonials and case studies that I can use and share. Right, and that, that works incredibly well. But if you don't have that, it doesn't mean this strategy can't work. You can use industry facts and figures to support your stance or your advice or get people thinking about why um, your, your, what you've got or, or what you're gonna share is really important. And um, one of the other reasons that works so well is because it's using Facebook as it kind of can be normally so what we might say natively so what people may talk about on their walls or they may post with on their walls that gets engagement that's what we want to do we want to kind of um draw from those kind of posts that just naturally get engagement on people's uh, personal pages okay because we want to seem less like a brand and more like a, more in establishing a relationship with our clients because that's what's going to galvanize the them to us and also um get them investing with us okay so if you see Pay attention if you see some posts in your feed that are getting um, lots of traction. Think about what that's about. Now, sometimes that might just be a meme or a funny or a cat video or a quote. Those things you can still be using on your page or on your Instagram, absolutely. They can still work to improve your um, your connection with your audience and also your figures on your page. So Facebook, like pay attention to the fact that you're getting a response. But just you, you need to mix them up with the, the content. So that's what I want to say. Facts and figures work very well. Um, you obviously want to stay in line with Facebook policy, but 
you know, um, these can uh, these these kind of facts and figures po post long form some bullet points what they're going to get out of moving forward. So it's almost like a little mini sales page or a mini sales page intro in many ways. You're going to be talking about the pain points. You're going to be talking about what they're going to get and the next steps with a call to action. Okay, so that's what I'd suggest um, in having there and lay your link in there in the copy as well. It definitely improve, improves click through. Um, you can also play around with taking the button off the bottom here and keeping it just like an image or a post. You can put a video there if you want to. Um, all of these things will sort of, you, you'll be testing and trying and seeing, seeing um, you know, what works and what, what doesn't, okay? Um, so, yeah, so someone's just asked about the Facebook Live as well. Yes, a, a Facebook Live is basically a live broadcast from your page. Um, so uh, people who follow your page will see that in their news feed. So basically they see it as you go and then it gets posted on your page and um, people can continue to watch the video as it's posted. Great, easy way to create content, okay? And you can even use something like this um, to... Uh, to put your lives out as well. I, I would suggest you just using the lives and the video and getting those, getting that initial interaction to build the audience and then drilling down a little bit more with a longer ad like this, okay? And then when we, once we've got something ready for sale, maybe you've got a sales page or something um, that, you know, you traditionally wouldn't set up a Facebook ad to go directly to a sales page, okay? Um, <clears throat> because it's like kind of, you know, the old going to a bar and asking asking a, a woman for a date before you've even bought her a drink or had a chat with her, you know. It's it's like going straight in there and it's it's kind of weird and it's unlikely to convert that well. Whereas if we know that we've had people watch our lives, then we've had people visit certain landing pages or come to the webinar, which we can track, by the way, with Facebook. So once we take a little chunk of code, our Facebook pixel, pop that on um, on, on all our landing and sales pages and Facebook, and we can track people who've seen our Facebook posts and ads, etc. then we can go back to those people. So if we can create audiences of those people. We can even create audiences of um, people on our email list. We can upload that to Facebook and show our ads to those people, which I'm sure you're, you're aware of. Um, and the beautiful thing is we can even ask Facebook to create people like those those people, right? So we've got opportunities to use lookalikes too. So this is where, you know, you say, well, I don't have a big email list and I don't have a big ads budget. Okay, great. Well, we know that Facebook don't charge as much for um, running, uh, you know, video ads or, or sharing video content. So not only can you get the boost on the page, for the organic boost on the page from running a Facebook Live, because Facebook really like you to run lives, we can also then run that as an ad to start collecting the audience. Then once we've got the audience, we can start showing them invitations. So invitations to a webinar or a live workshop or to get some kind of freebie download um, and um, uh, participate in a challenge perhaps. Anything like that where we're starting to engage, get them, um, get them behind some new content. Um, you might even want to sell them something at a lower price as we move down the funnel. Those, I mean, I don't generally advise that, but a lot of people can do that and that can work quite well. But then when we start to go, okay, well, we've got a sales page. We know that people have been to webinars, workshops, and perhaps they haven't bought yet. Maybe they need to see your message more, okay? So then we go, all right, let's do another ad just to those people, okay? So this was an ad I could do to the sales page and say, okay, this is the last chance to join. Um, this is where you want to go. And we can drive traffic to warm uh, traffic to a page, warm traffic to a page, which is much more likely to convert than cold traffic. So I wouldn't have gone out with an ad to a sales page to people who hadn't seen me before. Does that make sense? Hopefully um, that makes sense. Don't want to overwhelm, overwhelm anyone here. Um, so this is, yeah, this is what I'm saying. Build your viewers with content and then retarget and create lookalike audiences. And then once what you'll find that not only will you have your own email list, because once you're building, um, once you're using ads to um, opt in for guides or webinars, you're going to be building your email list, right? So you also have an email list as well as these list of custom audiences or audiences in Facebook that you can come back to time and time again and ask Facebook to find you people just like that to show your ads to. So the takeaways there are use the power of Facebook Live videos and organic um, organic posts, right, to get things moving. Think about what's working in other people's feeds. 
Um, use facts and figures in your Facebook ads, in those follow-up ads. Use longer form ads are generally working now. That may change that if things go up and down. You'll see a lot of longer form ads in your feed. Um, I'm sure a lot of like emojis, which you can create quite easily on your mobile phone ads creator as well. Um, so yeah, you'll see a lot more of that longer form kind of conversational type post, but try and be a bit counterintuitive in there, try and put some facts and figures, um, tell people what they're going to get up front, you know, be a bit engaging, you can be a bit funny and whatever sort of suits your brand, right? So that, so that's the core thing then. And then we've got to be doing the follow-up by using those audiences. So you don't have a big list, it's okay, you will soon with that strategy, right? Does that make sense? So really putting in um, making sure that we're going, um, we're going to build build on those audiences. You might then ask me, well, hang on, who do I, um, um, who do I uh, target with my lives, right? Because they will be to cold people, and that's going to depend on um, on what industry you're in, um, who you, what your market is. Okay, so you can still start. You still have to kind of get back to the basics with some of the targeting there, right? And that's where you want to be making sure that you're familiar with who your best kind of clients are. What are kind of the some of the lifestyle factors that they're going to show? Like what kind, you might even get down to. All right. Who else would they be following? Who's the comp competition? You might try putting in some of your competitors' names, um, some broader interests maybe to start and see if that works. So by broader, I might be saying, okay, well, where do they live? How old are they? So some of those demographic factors, um, you know, what's their education? Um, you know, what kind of um, mobile platform do they use? There's there's a whole range of broad targets. You don't really want to go shooting in the dark, but you want to try a few at a time. Um, thought leaders can work well, media outlets, um, magazines, um, some authors and books, depending on what what um, what uh, category or target you're in. Um, and if you want to ask as well at the end of this webinar what um, for some target ideas, I'm happy to give you those too. Um, and, you know, you're going to basically start off there start building some of those audiences and then you can you can move forward, okay? There's also um, the beautiful option now to be using the power of Facebook Messenger to start conversations, okay? So you can start a conversation with your target market on Facebook directly in Messenger. So everyone's using Messenger a lot to, um, you know, connect with their friends and loved ones on Facebook. And now you as a personal brand or as a brand has the power to use Messenger to, to connect with your audience. So we bypass the whole email. Um, doesn't mean we, we don't, we don't want to connect in with the email as well, but um, we can start an easy kind of chat way to start delivering content, value and, um, and reminders, all those kind of things. So once again, using this on its own might not be, um, you know, the, be the best answer for you. But if you start putting some of your ad spend in messenger ads, what you're going to find is you might get a lot cheaper contacts um, and, and connections and start building on those. But we want to kind of back that up with building the audiences that they've seen some videos, that we deliver some content in Messenger, that we um, get their email address in Messenger too, so we can follow up with them there. Okay. Um, but basically, whenever they kind of click or comment on an ad, um, they go to a Messenger chatbot. Okay, so um, you can just set these up within Facebook, but I recommend using a tool. The one that I use, um, I'm not here to say it's the best, it's just really easy to use and it works, is ManyChat. It's only kind of $10 a month. It's not ridiculous for software, I think. Um, and it gives you the opportunity to start building subscribers um, in uh, Messenger subscribers, right? So you'll have a list of them and you can see them in Messenger and you can chat to them um, and you can send broadcast messages, reminders, um, all the kind of things you might send on an email, you can send that via the chat box. So um, you can also start even chatting and having higher level sales conversations via Messenger and that can work really, really well. So <clears throat> an example of one of the ads I'd um, I'd run for that same campaign. So selling mastermind, right? Okay. So, oh no, actually this was my other one. This was um, for message to market, right? So clearing, um, so clarifying the message. Okay. <clears throat> so once again, we have a bit of a longer form post here. We have a video talking about, you know, what they can get. This is just an ad to a free guide here. So instead of saying, 
opt in and you'll get your guide. I'm just saying just comment below and we'll send the guide to you in Messenger. And then we will, we're going to follow up um, from that and um, grab their email address as soon as they're in the bot and um, start delivering some content that they can interact with too. So we can start sort of building the whole flow and we can start engaging with them much like an autoresponder sequence um, but within Messenger. So you can see there underneath like how many people just like commented um, and that was basically that ad was only spending I think about $30 $30 to get all those. So all of those people became subscribers because they commented on my um, messenger, uh, on my messenger ad, right? So they're subscribers in my many chat. And then I need to work within the flow to get them across to my Infusionsoft. Okay. But there's still people that I can come back to. Okay. Much like, yeah, sure. With the audience retargeting, we can, we can ask Facebook to find those people and we can start showing them ads, but we can't start a dialogue with them as such, right? Aside from just the general broadcasting of the ads. This way I can start having personal chats with these people if I need. It's really, really powerful. Who put a why in the chat box if that's something you've tried or you'd like to try or looks like something you'd like to to get moving with. Even with Alana, you know, we started doing this very, um, very quickly. Uh, I mean, very, you know, yeah, ages ago is what I was trying to say. And within a short period of time, she, you know, I think within that sort of one month, she had 90 subscribers come in just from ads and we weren't even diverting a lot of the budget to those ads there. So you can see how uh, that curve just starts to go up and um, you can start connecting with them in Messenger. So I also promised that I want to share you my top three Facebook ads funnels, okay? So one I love is automated webinars, right? I'm um, doing this one live, but... Um, uh, but I love an automated webinar because you don't have to show up. You definitely don't have to put your makeup on. You can do it once and start using the power of a presentation to, um, to get out to your target market time and time again. So in doing that, um, you know, once again, creating the same kind of like principles with the ads, um, you want to kind of, you know, get to the right kind of the right kind of people. Um, this this sort of um, this is just a bit of a strategy here that you might want to use here, where I've got yoga teacher training. Right, I put that there because some of the targets we were targeting weren't necessarily yoga teachers; they were just yoga kind of. Um, general targets. So it's like in order to start building audiences of people when you've only got broad targets, start doing that in your copy. Start sort of calling out the exact people that you need in your copy, okay? Um, another one, uh, yeah, you could be doing with the webinar is that you can give a freebie first and then on the thank you page, you can then be inviting them to your auto webinar as well. So you can send them direct to a page where they register for a webinar or you can send them to a freebie and invite them to your webinar on a thank you page or invite them in an email autoresponder follow-up sequence. Another beautiful one is a challenge. So free seven-day clean eating challenge. So in health and wellness, this works well. And in business space, this can work well as uh, two. Um, I think three to five days can be better. Um, this client had done seven days because uh, that was the content she had. But as it was, I mean, um, we were getting under $2 leads for months on that. Like, so this there's some um, uh, categories and uh, uh, that can work extremely, extremely, uh, extremely well to get really low, um, low price subscribers in there as well. So it's not just getting the subscriber there; she was getting them on her list. What you want to be doing then is having follow-ups to either invite to a webinar or a live workshop, or give them some more content, ask them to for, uh, to book in for a call with you, so you can then take them on on the next part of your journey and invite them into your programs. Does that make sense. So that's how we monetize this. We engage, we deliver value, we establish credibility and authority, and we follow up consistently and we invite them and with, with a call to action into our program. Okay. So those elements have to work along. Otherwise you might just be going, well, it took me, you know, so long to create this opt-in. I've done that. Now I'm just getting all these leads, but you actually haven't got anything to then convert those email opt-ins. That's when Facebook ads are going to get really expensive for you. Okay. So don't, don't do that. Another client had some workshops. So we can be running to just workshops as well. Okay. So you want to talk about what they're going to deliver in the workshop, get people to book in on a sales page to 
attend one of your workshops, and then you can deliver your beautiful value, meet them and invite them into your coaching programs. So, you know, the the workshop attendees can be a lot more expensive because you've got to get them to actually show up physically, right? So they generally range between $60 to $80 to get people to a workshop depending on the price. Um, Now, these also work a whole lot better for warmer traffic, um, but you might not have as much warmer traffic or custom audiences. So you've got to, you can, the good thing with events is that you can geo target. So you can say, okay, well, I'm going to go with, with um, people who are around the event venue, okay? Um, you know, basically ads can work. Claire used them to market a webinar and sell a brand new program from scratch and make over 10K, right? So I love webinars. I am mad for them. I think they're a great way to, um, you know, deliver some great content, um, engage with your audience and invite them to go a step further with you. Um, I think that they still work despite what people say. You can do them auto or you can do them live or you can start doing more of that kind of presentation using Facebook Live as well if that's something you'd like to try. The the issue with Facebook Live is that people go in and out. They've got very short attention spans for content on Facebook Live. Whereas I find for a webinar, you want to deliver a lot more media and, and and get that um, connection happening, then an actual sign on to a webinar works works a whole lot better. Even if you don't get as many views, you'll get more engaged viewers. Okay, um, Chantelle a few years ago made thirty nine thousand from one of her initial webinars um, where we went. Uh, originally, we were just going inside Australia. Then we we're going okay. Well, let's target if if you're targeting music and dance studio owners, then let's go outside of Australia. One of my other clients, Robin, um, we started using the fertility message. Now, fertility is is a difficult one to target. No, and I've got another client who does anxiety, right? So they both help um, different clients to help people with anxiety and help people with um, fertility issues. Now, people aren't generally posting on Facebook that um, that uh, that they're anxious or they're suffering from anxiety or that they're infertile, right? So targeting these people can be incredibly difficult. But what we could do with Robin is say, okay, well, let's start targeting, doing that method that I talked about before. Whereas in the in the ad, we're going to talk about, um, you know, ha- has this, has, you know, um, can you relate to this or things come up? So you've also got to be careful with policy on this, right, with Facebook ads because they don't like you calling out. This particularly happens in weight loss or money-making things. They don't really like you calling out um, anything that would identify them or make them feel bad, right? So saying, have you been suffering from the crushing heartache of infertility isn't probably going to work so well. But when um, what we could do with Robin is the beautiful thing is the reason she shared this and we transformed her $47 course to a 997 course and, you know, she sold 10 of them in the first month was that she'd been through that. She's been through the crushing heartache of infertility and come out the other side. So what we do then is talk about her story right? So that's not saying anything about other people. It's saying, you know, when I went to the supermarket and saw my friend and she was pregnant, I, you know, burst into tears because this, you know, I've been trying time and time again, or with the anxiety thing, it's like, did you know, um, you know, there, there are five myths about anxiety that you have to have take drugs for the rest of your life, that you um, can't do X, Y, Z, blah, blah, blah. So it's about the myths, a facts and figures thing, right? So you can get around those uh, disapprovals and, and other issues doing that. Okay. Um, so yes. Um, and, uh, Leonard, you were just saying, you see, they're all about women. Yeah. Because I, I mainly target women. So this works for men and women. It's not just a women only kind of thing. Um, so, uh, yeah. Does that make sense? Oh, thanks. Thanks for commenting in there. Um, you've got your name as E Van Lowe, but I don't know what your, um, what your first name is, but thank you. And okay, so what about you? Where are you at? And this might be where, you know, we get to some questions too about um, <clears throat> where you're at and what's going on and what you need to move forward, okay? Because what could an effective Facebook ad strategy do for your business? Now, you may not have started your ads yet, or you may have started them and they're not working, or you might be looking for some tips to optimize or, or change, or you might be wanting, oh, Eric, thanks, Eric. Um, you might be wanting some targeting ideas or something like that. So um, don't be afraid to play. Um, Come in here and um, just come into the chat box and let me know, like, what's your biggest frustration with your ads or your biggest question, burning question, or a question from what you've seen and how perhaps you could apply that to your own own work there. Um, 
and do, 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 uh, Leonard, you said, I, am I advocating courses are better than products? No, I mainly do. If you've got physical products, Leonard, um, that's probably not my expertise. I have had um, a couple of clients with products and e-commerce sites, but I'm not really about e-commerce. I'm about service-based businesses. So selling courses, coaching and consulting. So if you've got e-commerce, probably feel free to jump off because these ads probably won't work as well. Some of the principles apply. Um, someone who is brilliant at um, e-commerce Facebook ads is Ezra Firestone. If you do not follow him, you absolutely should. Um, so jump on. He often does a lot of trainings too, so that might work for you. Um, my stuff's probably going to be less relevant. Um, okay, so Eric, you've said you get a lot of ad clicks from cold traffic but few sign-ups. So this comes to another point of your landing page. Like where are you going, where are you sending them to? The beautiful thing is when you're just collecting those audiences of lives, you don't have to send them anywhere. You don't even have, a, have to have a call to action. You just have to share what you're doing and collect, <coughs> collect the viewers. <coughs> but eventually we want to get them onto Messenger or our email list, right? So um, <clears throat> we want to think about the page that we send them to. Um, and this can vary, and one, it's one of the reasons why I really love using um, software to create your pages. And by software, I mean lead pages or click funnels. They're the two best um, at creating formats that are generally high converting without you having to, you know, pay tons um, for a developer to do for you. They're ready to go, they're drag and drop. Um, but more than that, you're going to need powerful headlines um, and and a, and a clear brand promise or um, promise for what you're delivering on that landing page. So that might be your issue, Eric. It would be really great um, for you to pop uh, pop the link of your landing page in the chat box and then I can have a look. Um, so let me have a look. No worries, Leonard. Glad that I could help you out. Um, uh, yeah, definitely want to be up front there telling you products, product sales, not my not really my jam. So um, go and follow Ezra. He is the bomb. Love him. Known him for years from jamming out on Facebook ads like seven years ago with Ezra. So um, he's awesome. Uh, do, 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 do. Here we go. All right. So any ideas on targeting for Christian women coaches and entrepreneurs? Hi, Robin. How are you going? Nice to see you again. Um, yeah, there's um, well, there's a lot of like Christian pages and other like have you gone and done like go into Facebook search and then you select, you put in terms and then you select pages underneath and find all the pages that, you know, just put Christian women coaches in um, and see those ones that relate to, um, that come up for you that you think, oh yeah, they're, they're kind of talking about the same thing that I'm talking about. Um, that can be quite a good idea. Also, you can put church names in there. Um, you don't want to probably in your um in your copy, call them out as Christians because Facebook may have a problem with that. But what you can talk about is your own Christianity. Um, and, I, yeah, look, there's tons of um, Christian kind of following uh, Facebook pages, like an absolute bomb. So even if they're not for coaches, what you might be able to do is um, find the Christian pages and a lot of homeschooling kind of uh, to, um, I mean, I might be casting aspersions here, but I know that a lot of there's um, a lot of sort of Christian homeschooling pages that have big followings that you could maybe use as your initial target when you go into detailed targeting. You put that in there, and then there's an the option underneath to go narrow or detailed and uh, narrow your targeting. So what you can do is you can overlay with an entrepreneurial target. So say for example, you do the Christian one, and then say that they must also like or follow someone like Marie Folio, Ali Brown. Um, then you're going to get that women coach market but you know that they're also interested in the Christian element so that's probably the best way to approach that um, and okay cool you're using optimized press nothing wrong with that I know James who started optimized press too you've got your landing page um, and what I love about optimized press actually um, I used to use it back in the day as well um, is that it's a sort of pay once kind of option, which I really enjoy um, rather than paying every month. So Optimize Press can be a great way to get started with landing pages, websites, um, and uh, your course content as well. So let me take a little peek at that. Um, Evan, are you okay if I share Eric? Because it says Evan on there. You said your name was Eric. Um, Eric, are you okay uh, to if I share that? 
uh, on here. Um, and Adele, I'm coming to you in a moment. Let me just have a look. Hopefully you are. Oh, maybe I'll go to Adele first. Eric, you just post that. Oh, you are. Great. Uh, let me just see if I can make my, <laughs> my, my beautiful screen work because God bless that. It's really playing up on me today. Okay. Hopefully you can see my screen. Um, and let's have a look. Book to screen training. Oh, I'm already, um, intrigued my internet's deciding to be ridiculously slow because i'm broadcasting so let's just see if this oh here we go okay i can help you get your book made into a hollywood movie even if you're a no name who lives at the north pole okay cool so look this is a this is a bit of a i have i mean the beautiful thing is i haven't seen um I haven't seen this concept before, which I love. So author success story, get your book made into a movie. So you, you are going to, you are going for quite a narrow audience of people who are already a published author. Um, I, I assume, right. Okay. So correct me if I'm wrong in the comments here, um, that you're going, yeah, you're going for, to, for published authors who then also want their book to be a movie, right? So you've got a couple of, Kind of messaging things there that, that making it very narrow um but I, I know there are a lot of you know kindle published books right so that's great that, that those audiences are out there but i think what you might what might be um setting yourself up for a problem is that you're going quite narrow i'm wondering um make you okay oh your cookies thing really comes up okay quite high i know you might be in the eu as well okay Personal training from, oh, no, maybe not. You're the Hollywood insider. Um, book to screen. What about turn your book into a screen play? Is that something that they might be a bit more interested in or might be easier, like made into a Hollywood movie? It might seem a bit of a stretch for the regular Joe. I'm wondering is how, how do you transform your um, book into a screenplay and um, – and maybe even get it and, and get it, you know, greenlit as a movie or something like that. Maybe there just needs to be a little step in between to make it a little bit more believable. Even when you're a no-name who lives at the North Pole, it's a bit kind of cheesy. Like it, 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 I, I'd really like to um, like to see it maybe with the word screenplay, even though you, just to test, this is a good thing about Facebook, right, is that you can jump in and test and see if that improves um, improves your conversion. So you got register for, for free book to screen training. Well, that's not overly obvious. It will be to you, but you've got to keep things really, really simple. So I would probably say, um, uh, you know, we'll just register for the training underneath, but it's a, yeah, turn your book into a screenplay, um, that, that could even get made into a movie or something like, something like that. I think that could potentially work. I think you've got a bit of an, a bit more of an, it's not obscure, but it's very, very niche, which I actually really, really love, but we've got to make sure that that's going, the reason why I think you're getting the conversions is not really the layout of your page. I think it's your copy and your message. So how to get your book aggressively represented in Hollywood without ever leaving your home. Um, about the little known Hollywood. I like these bullets. They're, they're cool. Language in terms of net, like the language is your language in this is still um, a little, uh, you want to simplify it a bit so people can just skim over it. It doesn't mean you want to attract dummies, but you might want to just, um, you know, get the kind of language that goes boom, boom, boom. A, an app to help you with that and getting readability is called Hemingway. It's about 12 bucks. Um, you can pop it on your desktop and you can pop any piece of text in there and it'll tell you how readable it is. That can really help with your conversions on your landing pages. So, um, you know, even a little success story or um, not even your own, but why don't you, I mean, there's plenty, plenty of um, success stories out there about authors who've, um, you know, made tons of money out of their books, like uh, Leanne Moriarty, um, what, who's the one who wrote Girl on a Train, um, or even some of those other ones, you know, the, the, you might even be saying there's a rush um, on you know, on book writers in Hollywood right now or something like that, like a few little stats in there to kind of illustrate your point, I think would work a lot better. Okay. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, and I'm going to go to you, um, Adele. Oh, no, I think you were just saying you were going to have a look at ManyChat as I have a good ad costs and conversions. Well, you do. That's why I said you're good at doing what you do, Adele. Um, 
And if I can refer people to you, let me know. Like, hit me up in um, Messenger. I'm, oh, people are always asking me who is good, who they can, who can run ads. I'd love to refer you. Um, good email, open rate, but taking action of my peeps isn't going that well. Is that for your own offers, Anna Adele? Not you're not running campaigns for others anymore. I'm probably thinking back in the day. So go with Messenger and maybe yeah. Is that uh, for your list? Okay. Um, you might just want to tell me what you what you are sharing or um. Or selling at the moment to Adele, that might be helpful. Um, oh yes, your own offers. Have you got? Um, do you want to tell me what they are, or if there's any? Tar- so obviously you're targeting. So all of that's working well. You're just not getting the conversion. Are you doing webinars? Because you could just if if you've got all those things worked out, Adele, you've got cold traffic. You're building your list. You're getting targeted prospects. Um, you're getting the kind of people that you want, then you need a conversion tool. Um, so I would suggest you do webinars. We can talk offline about that too. I do help people create their own webinars from scratch and um, yes to webinars. You're doing your webinars, Adele, or you know you need to do them and you haven't done them yet? Let me know. I know I'm like really getting into people here, aren't I? Uh, anyone else got any questions? I've still got uh, – you are doing webinars. Okay, are they not converting? Because maybe it's your format. Or maybe you've got um, a slides that keep stuffing up like mine. That'll really mess up you. <laughs> your conversions. Um, got to love that. Anyway, let me know, Adele, or we can talk about it offline if you don't want to share all that. But just webinars, maybe a lot of people are doing webinars, but they haven't got those sort of conversion elements working for them. Um, it might be your offer. might not quite be working, that message to market fit. So happy to talk more about that. Well, let's dive in more about what, you know, as I promised on this webinar, I revealed three, three Facebook ad strategies you could use to bring in leads and sales like clockwork, building those audiences, taking advantage of Facebook Live, using the messenger to back things up, creating custom audiences and lookalikes, doing the long form posts, going to webinars, to workshops, um, and, you know, whether or not you do some automated webinar funnels or um, some challenge funnels or ads to um, freebies or webinars, okay? How you could build an audience from nowhere based solely on your message that can easily convert to clients and why this will solve your cash flow crunch, right? Allowing you to work with who you want and how you want at a price you, d- you deserve. Because when you start running your own Facebook ads, it will give you more income, more clients and control over your business growth, okay? So hopefully, would it be okay if I showed you how I could help you with more than just these strategies that I shared with you today? I hope so, because I'm going to share it with you. Um, Because look, the truth is you can do it yourself. I showed you the basics of how to get started and even the copy frameworks you could use, the ads that I use, right? Just like steal those, right? Of course, you would also need to know what kind of ads to choose, what to say, really important, what to say in your landing page, where to send the traffic to, how much to spend, how to know what's within the normal um, parameters of leads and traffic and what to pay and when to turn ads off, what steps to include to move your clients to sale. Because you may be really great at ads, but you might not be very great at getting the conversions happening. The problem is Facebook is confusing, okay? It's, it, it is easy to lose money if you don't have a broader strategy or someone taking you through that. And it's hard to know what to look for. So what if you could work with me to create your own Facebook ads campaigns to attract clients into your coaching business and increase your sales? Well, Perhaps I'm glad you asked because I have a new program, Facebook Lead Success. It's actually a coaching intensive. It's a repeatable formula for success and the opportunity to get more clients using Facebook ads. So you're going to create basically a new normal revenue that could easily bring you in $10,000 or more consistently each month using the power of Facebook ads, but also the other strategies that we use to kind of bolt on with that too, okay? So in the next six weeks, you could have a powerful marketing um, campaign that brings you in more leads and sales every day, end to end, okay? With all the support and feedback, you need to take action and succeed, right? This is where I'll be alongside giving you that custom support. You can see even just from a few of the questions we looked at before, People are in different markets, different elements apply. Some people are more advanced, some people are less advanced, they're just getting started. It doesn't matter, the same things, we're still going for the same profitable Facebook funnel and I can help share with you what that, you know, how that could help you. So thinking about that, $10,000 a month, 
right? It, it, and that doesn't matter what price you're at. Like that's the potential you have on Facebook to get an extra $10,000 a month or maybe you want more than that. That's fine. We can multiply. But, you know, I'm here to just give you something realistic, adding another 10 k a month using the power of Facebook with what you already have. We're just tweaking it, right? Um, and thinking about what that $10,000 a month, not having that $10,000 a month and stepping over that each and every month because it is there waiting for you. And you have a choice. So you could join me in Facebook Lead Success. Let me show you how this program could help just six people on today's call. So if you'd like to get a regular flow of clients happily raising their hand to work with you each and every week and hit your lofty income targets in the next six weeks with my help and support, well, I've opened up a few spots inside my new program to help business owners, coaches, and consultants do just that. You'll get everything you need to confidently run, manage, um, run and manage your Facebook ads and even hand them over to someone else afterwards if you choose. Because so we're going to get that end-to-end -end framework up and running. Now, that also includes once you get the leads in, how are you converting them, okay? So without wasting more money and staying clueless to the power of the best possible lead generation on the planet, including my personal help and support, um, so it's a live six week partnership. You and I will work together to create high converting Facebook ads campaigns that bring in low cost leads and great clients. Yay. You will use what you learn, um, to have a repeatable lead generation system. You can use again and again to bring in high value clients and you can even teach it to your own clients too. This can be a really profitable way for you to be, um, sharing, uh, you know, what you learn and what, what you want to share as well. So that's pretty cool. Um, this is the exact method I share with my private clients who pay me $3,000 a month to do their ads for them. Um, so I'm going to be sharing what I, what I do with them, how, how I work, um, how I create um, the funnel, how I help create the right copy, what the follow-up needs to happen, um, what you do with your webinars, what you, how you can set up great pages for live workshops if that's something you want to do, right? So if you're ready to start getting clients, customers and cash like clockwork, Facebook lead success is right for you. So what is in the program? What what makes up this coaching intensive that we're going to do? Well, first of all, we're going to plan out your blockbuster campaigns. We'll develop your success strategy right out of the gate as you follow along with the same no-hassle strategies I use to run my clients' profitable Facebook ads campaigns straight out of the gate from step one. So we step by step. But if you've already been running things and you're more advanced, that's fine. You can run your own race as well. But you're going to have the fundamentals and understand how aligned they are to what you're doing, okay? So I I, I'm sure that if you've got um, frameworks with your ads and you're running ads, you've got a lot of um, room to move with some of the messaging elements and some of the audience building elements there too. So you're going to understand your messaging and how to make it work on Facebook. And I'll show you what to say and how to say it to work well, okay? Um, even just the other day, one of our clients can um, just – for a bit of a Facebook um, fix up, right? And um, she was getting those $9 leads and all of a sudden she's like, oh yeah, I already got um, 70, oh, of course, first day. First day is always gonna be better, right? And things even out over time, but just even that first day, they went down to 70 cents in the business coaching niche. I don't think they, they, they will stay there, but they're definitely gonna be a lot less than $9. So just by tweaking that messaging, just by t tweaking the structure of the ad, and that will also then set up your clients to, put, to convert better as well, okay? Because they're clear about what you're offering. They're connected with your message and your solution, okay? So second part is fail safe targeting, how to find your perfect prospects using a few key techniques that most people forget about. Um, you know, not the same old customer avatar stuff. We're just going to get straight in there. Most of most targeting I can see straight off the bat too. The right targeting methods to ensure you pay less for your leads and get the right buyers practically eating out of the palm of your hand. Um, and stepping up to fit super features like custom audiences, lookalikes and retargeting to get in front of warm buyers and keep your acquisition costs reasonable, even if you don't have a big email list. Third element, high impact ad creation. This is also, um, this one is valued at 197 as well. So I'll be showing you my tried and tested ad framework, templates, and step-by-step -step instructions for standout ads that deliver. And you'll be so happy you can use the framework again and again. You have a like as a little ready rec now. Okay, what do I put in for this? So even though I can help you with your copy in the beginning and in this, in this program, you'll have a framework that you can use time and time again that you'll be able to get used to um, using to create some great results, to bring in the cash. And you may even just easily duplicate and quickly give a little edit to the winners to freshen things up, right? 
So imagine the excitement of creating ads that your audience and Facebook love and convert clicks into clients. You can get my shortcut resources for easy DIY image creation and killer copy that will set you apart from the competition. You'll use the same process I use when creating virtually unbreakable winning Facebook campaigns at scale. And you may not realize it yet, but you've saved hours of time and frustration working your way around the Facebook interface all by yourself, right? Because you go and do that and you go and dig in, it's going to take absolutely hours to make those tweaks, to um, be motivated to get back in there and optimize as you need, right? So you're going to save that frustration <clears throat> and that time and that energy and that disappointment because I'll be giving you tons of useful feedback. I can get in your account. I can see what's happening. I can give you feedback, okay? Do not be surprised if your network grill you for the skinny on how you finally crack the code on your campaigns and scaling, right? Then we're going to optimize. I'm lifting the lid on all my up to the minute strategies, what appetites to use, how much to bid and what stats matter and which you can forget about. So even knowing, okay, once I've hit that, I need to turn that off. Uh, I need to move this. I need to change this. That normally comes from years of experience. Okay. You're going to shortcut. You're going to fast track that. I'll translate the ultra confusing ads manager, help you avoid Facebook traps to make you spend more than you need to. Oh, they've got a lot of those in there. And how to track and test to discover whether your conversion is spot on and if not, what you can put in place to turn it all around so you can keep repeating the solid return you're creating, okay? So you also get six weekly live group laser coaching Q&A calls with me where you get the chance to get your questions answered and the kinks ironed out. We'll screen share, we'll jump in there, we can move things. You're not alone. And the best part is you stay on the line until all your questions are answered. You have me there. You also have access to an exclusive Facebook groups to share campaigns, stats, what's working, get access to me and um other people in the group too, upload your campaigns, ask for any assistance and guidance uh, anytime, right? So it's 24 seven. You can also share strategies, tips, and advice with your fellow members. So you can get involved and see what's happening there and learn from others' campaigns as well. So it's almost like you get the insights from other people's spend without like doing your own dough as well, which is pretty cool. So you do get that weekly laser coaching. For six weeks, you get to dial in and seek direction and advice during the open access group calls, direct with me. So advice, support, and guidance will be there. These will be recorded, um, and questions can be asked um, prior to the call, or you can just jump in the Facebook group and do a video um, if you want to show me what's going on or, or ask for advice or assistance. So what do you, what do you get here? You get lifetime membership access to the online training where you're going to get those um, those videos and the structure and some of those templates as well. Six weekly laser coaching calls. That's valued at $2,000 alone because you over the six weeks, you basically got 24-7 access to me to ask anything you want about your ads and your funnel, private Facebook group, um, and copy reviews. This is where I can come in and give you actual copy ideas for your ads. That alone is valued, well, I put that there at 497 but it's valued at more than that. If you've got someone to write out your ads, you're probably going to be paying more than that. The combined value of that is $4,776, Okay. Um, in other words, Facebook lead success is a $4,776 Facebook, uh, $76 Facebook lead intensive, right? But I want more for you. Not only do you have me in corner for the next six weeks to sort iron out your campaigns or get them up and running um, so that you can have a beautiful client getting system. You can use time and time again to harvest high end clients. But I also want to create some juicy webinar only bonuses for the next six people to join. And I also want to share with you, it's not going to be 4,776, right? Because I know that you want a complete solution to growing your business online. So webinar only bonus today, discover your brand archetype. This is an amazing um, opportunity to do a full assessment and understand the key to your authentic messaging, what your foundation is, what your brand, how people want to see, uh, will naturally see your brand, how you'll show up in your brand, what your strengths are, your weaknesses, words that you can use in your ads to bring it to life, right? And how clients can connect better with you and how um, knowing your signature brand, um, brand archetype and your influencing brand archetype can come together and um, create your own unique positioning, okay? Um, and you can use this info for all your messaging and your funnel, but particularly ad copy headlines and targeting. So super cool exercise valued at $497. You jump in today, you're going to get that 
for free. Um, you're also going to get a bonus Facebook ad library, access to a swipe file of ads and targeting that work for your inspiration, right? So you can look at targeting ads, ideas, um, see kind of images that work and, and that people are using and a template of the first perfect Facebook ad framework too. That's valued at $197. You get that absolutely free. So not only are you going to get all those things we talked about before, but if you um, sign up on today's webinar, you're going to get a combined value of uh, $694 in bonuses. Pretty cool, huh? So you get all the training I talked about um, and me on my eyes in on, on your campaigns for six weeks, um, plus the Facebook group, plus the group laser coaching calls, plus copy support, um, all you need to get your funnel working, okay? That's valued at $4,776 plus the $694 in bonuses today. In total, that adds up to over $5,000, right? Now, this includes hands-on campaigns set up and copy direction and my eyes on your campaigns. This isn't a mass-produced online course where you're one of hundreds and you get, um, you know, outdated information. This is going to give you hands-on help, advice, steering you through what you need. Your investment today is just $997, okay? And in order to join, um, you just need to go to victoriagibson.com forward slash leads to um, dive in and get um, that great uh, opportunity where, you know, we're going to move through more than just theory on this. We're going to activate your campaigns. We're going to optimize what you currently got or get them started either or, okay? We're going to make sure that you get high quality prospects coming in and sales within those six, within those six weeks. That is my promise to you. So I'm just popping the um, link there in the chat box to make sure that you've got that. Um, when you go there, you'll see where you can enter your details and you can select your um uh, select your, put in your payment details. Once you've done that, then I'm going to be in touch and we'll probably have a chat about um, where you're at and what what steps need to happen. Um, you're going to give me what's going on. And let me have a look at your account so we can uh, get things moving. So um, once, once you're in, you're in. Ask questions share advice, you know, find out how to set up, the, set up the best possible options for conversion. Um, and most people, depending on your price point, and probably after you've talked to me, your price point might change a little bit. Most people are going to get that back uh, within a sale or two, right? So when you put it that way, it's, um, you know, I'm going to be giving you that strategy up front. You're not going to have to wait, um, you know, to, to get, get the strategy we're going to go in work it optimize so that we've got time to tweak and change as necessary so you do need to be ready to kind of you know get get moving get happening because things are going to move fast and um, things are going to really turn around and change for your business so uh victoriagibson.com forward slash leads is the place that you will want to go to to join me um and this isn't a group for the masses either we're only going to have a handful of people in there um and that's the way i like it mm. Best part is you can try it risk free for 30 days if you don't agree that's giving you the structure and support you need to master facebook ads no questions asked refund policy. Okay. So how do you join? VictoriaGibson.com forward slash leads, full pay at 997 US. Um, enter your payment details. I'll reach out personally to get you all set up. If you've got questions or you're not sure if this is fit or you want to have a chat further about it, reach out to me at hello at VictoriaGibson.com and I can answer you there or PM me on Facebook or on my Facebook page. Um, that is totally cool. Um, because I know sometimes not everyone, that's by the way, what the order form would look like. My screen's going mental. I want to show you a few kind of um, ideas of what's happened when I have helped people with their Facebook ads or worked with some of my clients. You know, um, Julie said she's overcome with emotion today and gratitude, surpassed $12,000 in sales. Officially, my calendar is packed with discovery sessions. I feel like selling is easy and before I dreaded and loathed it. Just did a spreadsheet model and I can make 100K simply by selling five packages each month. And that is only what 20 divorce breakthrough sessions to get that number. Working 40 to 60 hours a month. So easy, I should aim for 200. I've worked two years to get here and I feel like it's happening. Thank you for all you do and I'm happy to pay you each month. Love receiving emails like this or ones like this. This is early on when I started working with this client. I can hardly believe it. Just out of curiosity today, I added up everything I've earned, like literal money paid to me this month so far. The grand total, $10,533.83. I've never made that much money in 22 days in my life. 
I only counted the money in my pocket. So this doesn't even include the course sales for the TT program this month because I get paid on the first for them or the continuing payment plans from people. So not only was she, she had the 10533 collected, she had thousands coming through in recurring revenue. She said, I'm astonished and I've been on the verge of tears all day. This is a huge success for me and a huge step up in my life and career. And the frigging month isn't even over yet. In short, you're one of the best investments I've ever made. I can't thank you enough for everything. You've delivered on your promise and then some. Now let's take this up to 20K a month and I'll come join you for a vast mind. So much love and gratitude. This is why I do what I do. These emails, like, you know, they're, they're cool. Um, even, you know, one of my uh, other clients, um, you know, had, had sent something through saying, just want to let you know I've had contract signed for my biggest project ever, $9,774. This was after the last one being 8400 this month. This is previously after, um, you know, undercharging continuously. Um, so being able to get there and, and just tweak that can make a difference from getting stuck uh, with shitty clients or even, you know, back in the day with Natalie Kapow, another client, thanks to, thanks to Victoria Gibson. And this was in Facebook ads training, another one on the edge. So I haven't, to be clear, I haven't offered this Facebook ads training for several years because I wanted to just roll it up in my other programs. But I keep getting asked time and time again just for a program to talk Facebook ads. So that's why I'm bringing it back. I've done this successfully for years. I'm not just learnt from someone now and, and deciding to share it with you, okay? Here's testimony to that. I mean, I've been doing ads and running campaigns since 2011. This is even in 2014, right? New clients coming in. She didn't have clients coming in from Facebook before that. Um, Claire, you know, had people coming in, investing in 11K based on, you know, advice. Even I've been, I've run campaigns for Lewis Howes and Marie Folio um, with their Facebook ads and they have happy to, you know, Lewis has said I'd recommend Victoria's Facebook ad skills to anyone. Marie is looking for someone to supercharge your Facebook ads. Victoria Gibson is your woman. Um, I've worked with Amy before. I haven't not run her ads, but I've done training for her people several times um, and done a Facebook ads module for one of her programs back in the day too. Um, and she was kind enough to just say there uh, with her Wicked Smart marketing strategies, a keen eye on what's truly working right now and her ability to tap into your unique marketing advantage, Victoria is your girl. So nice to have some people there. I've also run campaigns for like Danielle Laporte, Leonie Dawson. So I've been in the back end of um, some high, co uh, well, high exposure coaches, I guess you'd call them. Um, and I've run campaigns for my clients over many years. There's not many things um, that I don't know. I'm, I'm not like the, you know, brand new trick kind of gal who's going to share you some sort of, you know, ninja fly by night kind of strategy. This is about pulling together not only what works on Facebook, but also what works with your message and your marketing to get the whole thing converging together. Um, so hopefully that's what you're looking for. Um, and if it is, then uh, you need to go to victoriagibson.com forward slash leads, jump on in and um, let's start getting your funnel sorted out and getting it working. Um, we work together for those next six weeks. So that's where you go. But we've also got time for more questions. Please don't leave me hanging on the line if you have more questions because um, this is your opportunity to ask me anything. Uh, so, I mean, you can ask me anything about anything if you really want, but um, about what we've talked about today would be great, about your own Facebook ad campaigns, um, about anything, any insights or ahas you got today that you might want more info on. Um, maybe you want some targeting, targeting advice about what you can, uh, you can use in your campaigns. I'm happy to riff with you on it. Um, a lot of people might say, well, um, I haven't even got started with Facebook ads yet. Could I do this? Um, and the answer is, well, let's have a chat. Um, I'd like to see because, you know, I'm not into uh, over-promising and under-delivering. I want to make sure that you've got um, what it takes to, to get there so that I can deliver on my promise. So if you're not sure about that, then reach out to me Um via email or just pop your email in the chat box and, and you can send it to me privately and I can get to you there or you can um, email me at victoria at victoria-gibson.com. That's my personal email or PM me or DM me on my page fb.com forward slash breakout success. Might even just put that in there. If you want to ask me some more questions, uh, that might be a great place to do it. Um, 
Yeah. If you are, um, if you've been running campaigns for a long time and you're wondering, well, I already know I've already got campaigns up and running. Well, you got on this call today, hopefully to find out some other sort of strategies, but more than that, you want to find out why your ads aren't working or they're not converting. So I can give you, the thing is you're already up and running. So great. We can test more campaigns. We can run some different ideas. We can tweak the copy and then we can look at the follow-up funnel. We can look at um, how that's running into your webinar um, and, and you know, get those things moving as well. So uh, it can go from beginner to advanced, absolutely. That's totally fine. Um, and what else do people normally ask me about Facebook ads? Do I, how much do I have to spend, right? That's a good thing, a good point. If you're going to be joining this, investing in the program, then you're also going to need an ads budget, okay? Okay. Um, you know, if you have sort of 1500 bucks, we can get some good results depending on what, what you're looking to have from there as well. Um, keep in mind, I showed you a campaign that, you know, I ran last uh, last month where we spent $3,491 and made over $33,000 in coaching, right? So, you, you know, I'm not, I'm not here telling you to spend $30,000 a month, but I'm here telling you how to spend maybe three grand on working with me and with your ads to um, exponentially grow your coaching income. So this is, yeah, it's, it's for people who are serious about investing and getting a return for sure. But um, no woman or man is left behind in making sure that this is, this is going to work. And um, I won't take you on if I don't think that I can help you either. Um, I'm not one of those people who's just going to fill you full of promises and go, yeah, 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 sure, we can do that. If I say it's, it's going to be tough, I'll just tell you, no, don't, don't, let's not go there. Um, what else do other people ask me while I'm waiting for you to ask me any more questions if you have them? Um, I think they're the, I think they're the main ones. Um, and the, um, would we cover Instagram? Yeah, we can cover Instagram as well in this because that's part of the Facebook platform. Um, cover how to, you know, sort of get your videos working, um, tools, tech tips, all that kind of stuff we can totally riff on. Um Copy is one of the most valuable things and um, places I can come to in helping you. Um, if you're running ads for other people, I've been there, I've done that, so I can also help you with how to structure your agency for success, um, give you some tips and advice on what to charge there as well. Um, so, yeah, other than that, it doesn't seem like anyone else has any questions. Um, but I hope you got some value out of today's training. I enjoyed um, sharing it with you despite the fact that some of my slides didn't work. Thanks very much. Uh, keynote. Uh, but anyway, I haven't had that one happen before. I've had just about every single tech fail on webinars over the years, but that one I haven't had. So not quite sure what <coughs> what was behind that. <coughs> Excuse me. So but good to see you here. It's nice to see some familiar faces and some new ones too. Hopefully you've got some things to take away. And um, if you want to join me too, then please reach out. Love to talk to you. Um, and yeah, let's go from there. Enjoy your day or your evening and see you really soon. Okay. Take care. Bye.